Welcome hoarders, they're going to be playing some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, I forgot I made this outfit at the end of the last episode. I think I made it after I ended the episode because he didn't have any, um, like, light clothing. Everything he had was just really, really heavy shit. So, we're going, let's start off with filling up everything that we don't have. Um, okay, I guess most of that's full. So let's go... Probably get some ammo. I think we... When we were in town, I bought a bunch of it, though. Um, so that shouldn't be a huge problem. Uh, I don't really use the pistol that often, so I'm not going to worry about taking much more of that. Where's the regular rifle? Oh, repeater. Yeah, I need some repeater cartridges. Um. Da da da. Da da da. What do we have on our map? Oh, we have to go into town. I believe that's the only one that we can even do right now. So let's go uh, see Bill Williamson. I need my horse first. Um, I don't remember if I ended up buying another horse or not. I, I, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Stay away from me. Oh, but, but, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a Here we go. I'm telling you. It always is with I was you. just gonna and leave. End up in a burning barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. Okay, thank That's you. Cool, okay, this is our new horse. It only took like a billion years to get a new horse. Yeah. I mean, it's not that I didn't have the money, it's that I didn't go do it. Because <laughs> the money on here is way easier than the money online. Like, the story mode money is like fucking pocket change. Well, not like pocket change, but it's like you're fucking rich constantly. Because I have like 400 bucks on me right now, and I don't know what to do with it. Um, yes, I do see that there is a side mission right there. But like I said, I'm focusing on the actual story mode. Um, because it's a very long story. Um, and it's way, way longer if you add all the side missions with it. I have a $50 bounty up here. Should I go to the post office and pay that shit off now? You're looking real nice today, Bill. Shut up. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna. Been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on. Oh, no. Let's get going. What's the plan? Micah? We're meeting a couple of the greys over at the saloon. They if Micah's involved, I don't job. like it. You guys know this. The farce of stealing the horses for them. Why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them. And they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now, come on. This thing legit oh, I also maxed out my guns, like all of them. Dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah, let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what about board and their fears? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah, they think it was the brave ones. Listen, I know these gray boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right. I could have told you... Oh my good God. Was that Lenny they killed? I forget his name. Oh, I'm pissed now. You motherfuckers.
Nope, I I ain't fucking backing down from this shit. No way, no fucking how. Oh, it was Sean they killed. Fuck you, you bunch of fucking assholes. Listen here, fucker. Where is he? Every last one of them. You kill a character I like, I'm gonna kill you. Every fucking time Mike is involved in goddamn anything. go. Morgan? You little bitches. Shit. They fucking killed him. They yeah, killed Sean, you little fucking well, cunt. How the hell was I to know? Let me see. They, said they couldn't, you know, before. kill Micah, you they know, the only person I fucking we hate. Their farm. Should I go on? Go easy <sighs> on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you, same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Hurry him proper someplace quiet. <clears throat> Maka? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. Fucking Micah. L literally, every time. Every time we do anything with Micah, anything that can go wrong is gonna go wrong. And then, like, double fold. Well, I think the same is twofold, but you know. His head shot half off in an ambush. 
Uh, bet this is the next chapter, because there's no way we're staying in Rhodes. It's like GTA. Every single game, like GTA and Red Dead Redemption, the entire game is always about, um, like, migrating from area to area because you're no longer allowed in that area. Because you fucked everything up. Ready to install, but it ain't ready to install yet. That's probably the, an online update, huh? Um, but we need to go back to camp to see Dutch. Okay, so it said that they're on lockdown right now. So if I had to guess, I talked to my friends about this. If I had to guess, I'm guessing we're going to move uh, more eastward than anywhere. Because um, that's really the only place... Like, the northeast area is the only place really left to go. Um, I forget the name of the other place. There's a place right up about here. But I don't remember what it's called. It has the, uh, the big dock and all that stuff. Unless I'm thinking of Blackwater. I don't think I'm thinking of Blackwater. But there's, like, one other big... It's, like, the biggest city in the game. Um, I've been there online quite a bit, and I'm pretty sure that's probably where we're going to move to next, assuming that we are going to move, um, because I highly doubt we're going to stay here um, with the area this hot after just killing the entire town of, like, every gray that's there. Like, all the grays, we fucked them up pretty bad. Let me guess, they're asking Dutch, what are we gonna do now? Have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fights. Oh, no. Sound like Braithwaite, boys. Where's my son? If anything, I... where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him. We will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch yep, one. Yep, so he already did the uh, graze, Abigail. now we have to go to the Braithwaite's. Just get me back, And son. kill every one of those fuckers. Back, so you know what's gonna happen? Right the daughter and the son are gonna be the only Each two left, the and they're gonna oh, finally uh, be happy. Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill them! Rest of you, let's ride! Okay, let's go get that boy back. Fucking going on a manhunt right here. They must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard. Um, isn't isn't the guy's name Bo or something like that? I think it is. It's like Bo and Christine? I don't fucking remember her name. I want to get uh, my repeater and my uh, bolt action ready. Somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So we're gonna fuck some shit up. That's what's gonna happen. Had to be a perfect misty day out, huh? Okay, get your hands right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. Go 
Come I'm on, going to Dutch. Calm coming, down. John. You sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. This is not going to be good for them. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm going to let fly at those sons of bitches. John, I need you to stay calm. Get down here now, you inbred trash! What the hell do you want? We want Jack. Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. Hmm. I'm just waiting to use Dead Eye. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this. Oh, fuck. I shot him right over his shoulder. Okay, I need cover. Fucker. Got ya. Come on. Fuck off. That's why I switched to the pistols. Oh. Gotta go upstairs. Wonder if they barricaded themselves in. Oh, they do have that whole thing fucking locked up. Need the uh, bold action to get a little more distance. Okay. Oh, fuck, why'd I do that? Not doing very good shooting. Got him. Is that one of... No, it's not one of ours. Of course it's not one of ours. Oh, you fucks. Need to eat me some fucking beans, boy. Honestly, I think the uh, repeater's doing a better job.
I love the fucking background music that they add in here. Eat. Fuck! I, like, you can't even fucking really hide behind those, uh, pillars good. I'm gonna try to work my way left to right. On you bitches. I'm good until he starts getting fucking woozy. I'm killing that bitch. Fuck. Oh well. I can't see a goddamn thing. One, two, three. Yeet. She's fucked. You two old woman. You bastards. Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for a hundred and twenty years. We never had no problem except by Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right, we get her out of here. What about them? <laughs> Tell us where he is, and we will still kill you. Now let's get back outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. You boys sure Jack in in here. We searched everywhere, Dutch. Hey, that's that's our fault and ours. Now, if I kill her, I'm going to do it the, the right way. I would take this house over instead of burning it down, huh? Bopper. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole my Boys are off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Son Denis. That's what it is. St. Dennis, that's that next town. So that's why we're going to be moving to there. I told you she was crazy. Hey, your house is burned down. Your entire family's dead. Wonder why, bitch. You fucked with the wrong people. Next time, I bet you won't do that. So, I'm wondering where we're going to set up base at St. Dennis. Or Denise, whatever the fuck it is. It's going to work out, John. It's going to work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? 
The boy will be fine. But, well, of course, Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors, a solution. Good day. Those fine fuckers people. again. Mr. Vanderlyn, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, <laughs> but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in <sighs> this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'll be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. We're gonna fuck some people up. I think up. your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake. All of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. We should have just killed him. We get out of right here. then and there. And quick. Oh, by the way, Arthur, yes, he is dressed up as Woody from Toy Story. Shut up. <laughs> I made it, and afterwards I was like, that looks familiar. It looks very familiar, other than that hat. dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny. Go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back. And we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing. Come on, John. Okay. This is crazy. We'll get up. What are we doing? Going ahead to scout our next location? I know the way. Okay, going to Shady Bell. It's going to be all right, John. Should be going for Jack. We will. But we have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? You make too much noise once again. Yeah, when I went to buy this horse, there was like no other choices for horses. It was literally this, the one I already had, um, and one other one.
Her house is still on fire Things down there. Don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. And rightly so. All right. I think I know back. where we're going. I think we're going back to that abandoned house where we got the uh, alcohol from. Yep, we are. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. Sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? Okay, Tom told my friend Tom told me about this place. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Uh, yeah, this is where we got all that liquor from, or the guns. That bitch go. Bye. Why does it want me going in here? Maybe it's the room above us? I was also told about a picture frame. Poke your head out. What are you fucking doing? How? Really? Okay. Oh, you fuck. Yeah. Try it again. It ain't gonna work again. I'll take that. And I will... I don't know why I'm searching drawers already, but I'm gonna... Um, I don't know where that picture is. The picture frame that... There's supposed to be one that you, like, shoot off the wall. I don't even know if it's in this house. We're gonna have to... I knew you'd come. Is that right? How's it looking up there? I think we're clear. Good. Come help me with this, will you? Wait a sec, I want to find that picture. If it's in this house. Oh, it's not even that door. Uh, maybe it's not this house. Ah? Uh? Oh, that's not my fucking hat. Why would I want that piece of shit? I thought... Yeah, I don't know. Must not be in this house. It must be some other house. Here. Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Follow okay. me. We gonna just All feed right, them to the way. gators? We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Might as well feed the gators, huh? Okay, I can 
deal with the rest of the body. You go meet up with the caravan. Guide them in. Okay, so we have three more bodies to get rid of. They're all upstairs. I think what I might do is if I can go on the balcony is drop them all down first and then just go around. Because that would probably be the quickest way. Huh, guess I can't. Well, that's gonna suck. Oh, hauling some dead bodies. do this two more fucking times. Why do I keep getting in? Oh, okay, so I only had to do that one, and they're gonna just assume that the rest were taken care of? That's pretty, yeah. I was told about moving into this place, so we must move, I guess, another time or so. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. They better have brought the camp boat and all that stuff that I bought. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should oh. lead us right in there. San Denis. All right. I, I've been saying St. Dennis because that quite. Good work, how Dennis it looks. Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going oh, is this where that miniature church back. is at? Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the No, that's farther out. Subtly, of course. Public places. Maybe start with the saloon. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. This hat's annoying me. Of course. And what about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Definitely. That Cornwall factory. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Yeah, boy. A real city. Full Take of smokestacks. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. What are we trying to figure out? I think that's probably the end of the one chapter or something. Yep. Chapter four. 
<sighs> oh, I did upgrade, like, everything on my horse, too. Um, because, um, like the, not the spurs, the fucking foot bracket things, those help you, uh, conserve stamina a lot better. Here are all the trains and stuff. The town even sounds different on story mode. Wow. What are we trying to figure out here? I don't know what we're... I insist that I deserve the right to vote. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. Am I just supposed to be talking to people? Uh... Hello, mister. Hey, mister! Got a smile on my face today. Alright. That's good. I don't, I don't know what the fuck. Howdy, fellas. Something sure is. Get on your way. It's all good. Calm down. Oh. The store, not the people. Stick them up, cowboy. Who is that? Is that Dutch? Mm-hmm. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I, I knew the rings. So. so here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists, America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here. What's this, a bar? Oh no. Why does everyone get quiet? Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told them, I say, Over that's here. the state of Lamorne for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we Hello? love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, now, I'm sorry, please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. I now, how can I help? I you look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey. <laughs> Some very impatient oh, customers. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Why, thank you. So, Mister. Two dollars? No, it could, it wouldn't cost that much back then. You ever hear of a by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look. I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. What? I've never been here Bronte. before, though. Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big. Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. And he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? You good, buddy? You got a really red face and really pale arms. Oh, hey, friend. You be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Okay, we gotta go down the back alley. Hello? Someone ringing a damn bell back here? Hello. It's really become quite the craze. So Hi there. Have you seen any kids around here? Oh yeah. Just through that archway there. 
Yeah, that's not an odd question to ask. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon what will it cost? Five dollars. Where does he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Here, come on. This away. Let's go, Mister. You coming, Cleet? Here Stay we go. Close. We're gonna get, you get lost the shit you. beat up out of us. Come on, then. You new to the I'm city, walking. Mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much Gun shop's way myself. down there. I think now over here is a real piece on of that art. street. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Oh, no, the gun store's Ain't down there. Or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, you <laughs> little pair of shits. Get going. He's coming after us. I'll kill you, even bastard. Should I? No, I'm not gonna. Get hit by that train. Fucking asshole. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Not in front of everyone, but I'm gonna kill him. I get hit by a fucking train. Get up. Fucking kid. Kid, go. Fucker. You motherfucker. What's the problem, friend? Give me my face, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is. And he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now. Come on. 
You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister. I'll fucking shoot every single one of you fucking pieces you. of shit. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. <sighs> Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He's been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. I'll kill him. One of these days. Damn. Now we gotta run all the way back. Because that little fucking piece of shit had to steal everything we had. Uh, I wonder if, w if they didn't take anything out of the satchel. Sure, they could have. Excuse me. Sorry. Buenos dias, senor. Hell is Dutch. Sergeant, over here. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. What now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I'd like to get him back. Wonder how long it's going to be until we get him back, though. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east to land we know, and far from real open country. Um, I think I'm going to end the episode there purely because we did quite a bit in this episode and I'm sure it's going to be en ending up about 40 minutes long and I don't want to really make it too long of a video. Uh, so I'm going to end it there. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click one of my previous, next, and related videos. And don't forget to check out my other social medias in the description down below.